Hello and welcome to a digital sales tutorial. Today I will show you how to connect your issue account with Stripe, how to put in publication for sale, how to create a subscription, how to promote and distribute your for, for sale content with full screen sharing, uh, embedding and uh, links to issue. And I will also show you where to see your selling statistics. So let's start. In order to sell your content on issue, you need to have an activated Stripe account. So first, please check if Stripe is supported in your country. You will be able to find the list on the Stripe website. Uh, so it is here on stripe.com slash global. So in case uh, your country is supported, uh, you're good to go. If you don't have a Stripe account, you can create one uh, during the process, but uh, you just need to know that uh, you need to have it uh, activated and you will be creating the Stripe account uh, on a Stripe uh, website. If you already do have a Stripe account, you don't need to create one. Uh, you will simply click on uh, sign in. So how you get there is uh, you will go under sales and in here you need to click on uh, set up payments. And here, the blue button, connect with Stripe. So I told you that uh, either uh, you can create the, the Stripe account uh, in here, uh, or you will also be able to connect your existing Stripe account. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm logged in. I would suggest you to, to get uh, logged into your Stripe as well and uh, just click on this connect my Stripe account. All right, so your Stripe account is uh, connected and um, all you need to do now is you need to finish the setup on issue. So you will add your support uh, email address that can be used for your customers to contact you. You will select uh, default currency and you will then review the setup. So select some support email. You can use the one that you use for issue or any, any other. Yeah, here select the default currency from uh, those that are on the list. And uh, here we are, uh, everything is set. So this was the first part, how to connect your issue account uh, with Stripe. Um, before you can start accepting uh, live payments, you might need to confirm your Stripe uh, email address. In this case, Stripe will send you a verification email and all you need to do is to verify the setup by clicking confirm email address in the body of the email. So uh, please go to your inbox and uh, check if you received something from Stripe, if you need to, to ver verify something or confirm something. So the next, next thing I would like to show you is how to put a publication for sale. So either you can upload a new publication and put it for sale before publishing or you can put an existing publication for sale. So I can show you actually both. Um, uh, yeah, let me go and uh, upload uh, some publication. So let's use this one. Uh, in here you simply uh, add uh, the title, then you should also add some description, uh, what type it is, um, and if you want to allow downloads, if you don't want to, don't uh, check uh, this box. Uh, then if you go here under sell, uh, we will just make it available for purchase in, uh, in here, and uh, you set up uh, the price in here. So this is a page where you can also set up the preview pages. So in here you can uh, select uh, how many pages you want uh, the readers to be able to see before they go and uh, purchase it. So in general we suggest something around 30%. So uh, yeah, it's, it is always the, the cover page and some of the pages inside, but it is up to you. We suggest uh, something around 10% uh, of your publication to be available. Uh, on this page, you will also be able to create free access codes. So if you don't want uh, someone to, 
uh, purchase your publication if you want them to read it for free you can give them free access codes for individual publications that uh, that you have for sale on issue so if you are happy with how everything looks like you can go and click uh, publish now and uh, it will be published and it will be available for sale with this green button if you already have a publication on issue that you would like to put for sale uh, you can simply open it in here you click on sell here under settings you make it available for purchase again uh, let me sell it again for two dollars uh, under preview pages uh, you select the pages that you want the readers to see so they uh, know what uh, the publication is about but uh, you of course don't show everything that is inside and uh, if you are happy with, uh, with the setup go and hit uh, apply changes to view the publication uh, uh, fully because uh, now there will be some pages uh, restricted uh, you can simply here under publication click on view full edition and you will be able to see all the pages this is just for yourself uh, so you can see if, uh, if everything is uh, correct in the publication itself. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, how to create a subscription. So let me first tell you a bit uh, about subscriptions on issue. Go in here. So you can sell your content as uh, single issues, as I showed you before, or as a subscription. And readers who buy a subscription will pay you in advance to automatically receive access uh, each time you publish a new issue. The subscription works similar to subscriptions of uh, print publications or to subscriptions uh, in real life. So customers pay in advance for the current and for the upcoming issues. And uh, the subscription duration on issue is based on a number of issues, uh, not uh, on time. Let me go here to settings so I can uh, I can uh, show you. Uh, yeah, and the subscribers start their subscription with the latest publication, and uh, they get a new issue every time when you add um, another issue to subscription. And when a new issue is added, the previous issues are only available as single purchases. You will be able to customize the number of issues uh, in the subscription and the price and you can also let the readers know your publishing frequency and how often you plan to launch every new issue. So let me show you uh, in here if we want to make the subscription available for purchase. Uh, at the moment I for example know that uh, I will be publishing every, uh, every three months so I will set it up as uh, quarterly this is basically just uh, to tell the readers how often they can expect a new issue to be, is uh, to, to be launched. Uh, number of issues uh, in the subscription. Let's say that uh, I want to have uh, A. So basically the subscription will run uh, over two years, um, uh, which is like the message uh, that you are telling the, the readers. But what is important in here is the amount uh, of, uh, of the issues. You can also set up some subscription savings. So uh, for those that uh, subscribe uh, for your content, you can give them, for example, 10% uh, off compared to if they, if they came to your uh, profile and uh, purchased uh, eight individual publications. Um, so in here, you can see the total total price with this discount and uh, in the subscription summary you can see that uh, there will be eight issues uh, that will be uh, launched uh, over two years but the price uh, is two dollars for single issue but if someone purchases the whole subscription uh, they are having some discount which is here 10 percent uh, if you are happy how everything looks like hit save changes So this is a subscription, um, yeah. If you set the subscription frequency, remember to add the new issues to the subscription on this basis. So in this case, uh, 
uh, next time when I publish, it will be uh, it will be in uh, in three months. So uh, what I need to do is uh, when I will be uh, publishing the new issue, uh, you just need to add it uh, into subscription. So let's say that uh, we are uh, three months from uh, from now, and uh, I'm uh, I've just uh, uploaded uh, a new issue. Let's say let's say this is the one. What you need to do is you need to go here under sell, uh, make available for purchase, and also include in subscription. So yeah, basically if I go ahead apply changes, uh, then all those who subscribed for my content uh, it will appear under their purchases, like this. All right, how to share your content that you just uh, put uh, on, uh, on issue. So there are uh, several ways uh, how you can do it. So let me show you on this particular publication. Uh, you can go under share links and you can either share the publication link. Let me show you how, how that looks like. So it is the publication on uh, issue itself, or you can share the link to purchase page on issue, which is this one. It is the one uh, where you land uh, if you click on the green sell button. So this is the something that we call the purchases page or the purchase page. Uh, what else you can do and uh, we strongly suggest uh, is um, you can uh, embed it uh, on your website. So in here, there are some customization options, how you want it to, uh, to look like. You can also have the pages auto flip, which gives it a bit more uh, uh, of an interactive element. Uh, you can remove the issue branding, the banner that is down uh, here. And uh, yeah, and in here, you can get uh, the embed code that you can put on your, on your website. Here is an example, So Young Magazine and uh, how they are embedding the, the content on their own uh, website. So if someone uh, clicks uh, on this uh, online magazine in here, they will be able to uh, flip through the pages in here and of course go and purchase uh, the publication uh, with this uh, green button and they will be sent to the purchases page. Uh, the other way that uh, we strongly recommend is using full screen sharing link, which is here, this one. If you click on it, you can see that the customization looks very similar to embedding and uh, you can um, customize it as you, as you want it to look like. If you click on this uh, save and get link, if you copy this, uh, if you copy this link, it, uh, it should open in, uh, in full screen like this. Again, people can, can go through it um, and they can also go and uh, purchase it. This is perfect if you are sending out uh, newsletters. So uh, just remember to, to use uh, this link and it will open in full screen and people will be able to purchase the content. Here is how, uh, how it can look. This is uh, one of our selling publishers, Sweet Paul. So this is the experience with the full screen sharing link. And the last thing I would like to show you is uh, the selling statistics. How you get there is uh, you go here, uh, sorry, go to all your publications, go under sales, and uh, here under, under overview, you can track uh, digital sales statistics uh, under sales, uh, and in the drop down, click the overview. And here you will be able to see the revenue, publications sold, and uh, the purchase source so if uh, people are purchasing from your embed you will be able to see it here uh, or if they are coming from uh, from issue.com um, it will be again it will appear it will appear in here if they are coming from a full screen sharing link it will also be under embeds in uh, yeah in order to see the statistics uh, dashboard, the publishers uh, should have their publications for sale. So if you don't have any publication for sale, yet you will not be able to see uh, these statistics or you will not be able to see the statistics uh, for uh, previously sold publications. So uh, remember to keep uh, your publications uh, for sale 
uh, in order to see this. Um, and also in your Stripe dashboard, you will be able to uh, access and filter a list of payments uh, that you received, including date, amount, uh, description, and also you will be able to see uh, some data about, uh, about the customer. So uh, you can go to Stripe dashboard to see all this data. Uh, well, we have a lot of information uh, also in uh, our help center. So if you go under help center, um, you will be able to, to find it uh, in here under sell your content. So we have a lot of, uh, lot of articles about um, uh, yeah, digital sales statistics. You can see here uh, how to connect uh, your issue account to Stripe. Uh, if you need to stop selling your publications, uh, we also have some guides uh, in here. Also selling publications as uh, a subscription. Uh, there is a lot of information in here. A um, lot of screenshots, as you can see. Um, all right, uh, so I hope everything uh, was clear. And uh, as I told you, remember that we have a lot of guides uh, here under our Hub Center. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.